Now to a shocking corruption scandal in Baltimore. Seven police officers indicted on federal charges accused of stealing money from innocent people. ABC's Lindsay Davis joins us now with all of those details. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Amy. We've heard similar storylines before on the big screen and on primetime television. But now these real-life officers have been charged with abusing their badges, of being corrupt to the core, allegations of extortion, falsifying police reports, and stealing from citizens. These seven Baltimore City police officers arrested, charged with being hardcore criminals. The allegations range from stealing from innocent citizens to robbing drug dealers of cash and guns, some even of selling heroin. These defendants allegedly were involved in stopping people who had not committed crimes uh, and uh, seizing their money, not only seizing their money, uh, but pocketing it. So these are really simply robberies by people who are wearing police uniforms. The alleged stealing from city residents was rampant, with amounts stolen ranging from $200 to $200,000. Prosecutors say the corruption included bogus search warrants, filing false police reports, and even putting in for thousands of dollars in overtime while on vacation. These officers, uh, they're 1930s-style gangsters, as far as I'm concerned. And authorities say there was a widespread cover-up, which involved coaching of each other to give false statements to internal affairs and turning off body cameras at key moments. It all sounds a lot like an episode from HBO's The Wire, the long-running police and drug drama that takes place in Baltimore. In this episode, officers stuff cash from a raid in their bulletproof vests. This morning, the seven officers are charged with racketeering. Some of the suspects face up to life in prison others decades in jail. The majority of Baltimore City police officers are going to be really pleased today to see these charges brought against people who are accused of betraying their badges, of betraying their trust to the department. There was a year-long operation in place to take these officers down. They were even wiretapped by the FBI. The U.S. attorney involved is calling this a major abuse of power. In some cases, they would just stop an ordinary citizen, hadn't been accused of doing anything, and they would steal their money from them. Wow. So blatant. Right, yeah. Okay, Lindsay, thanks very much.